All right, so um, right now I want to import a STL that I've made from the previous video. So there is my model, and if I use the solid, I can see the model, see through the holes and everything, and that's what I need. Now I need to um, break up the model to get the different operations. So what I need is the actual contour here and the holes. And I also need this uh, face here for a pocket operation. So right now I um, need to use a modifier and I use edge split 15 degrees and apply so now I can use edit mode and I need to deselect everything I press L. Oh, that's my bottom face, so that's no good. I need the top face. Oh, I need to uh, select faces instead. That's better. Okay, it's still the bottom. That's the top here. So if I press L, it's going to select the adjacent one and now I also want to uh, shift select this one uh, I think that's the bottom that's still the bottom oops the top here um, I'm having a little difficulty selecting it press L to get both and then Select it. Looks okay, but this one doesn't seem selected. It is selected. So now I do. Uh, to separate selection and so now I have another selection which is just a uh, just this face here okay so that's what I wanted now add a cam operation so uh, my cam machine comes up and I need to change a few settings uh, cam feed rate I use uh, 1.5 meters per meters per minute and um, 
I want to um, use the strategy um, pocket and I'm going to be using the distance between tool path and 1.5 millimeter I have a 4 millimeter cutter and I need to change the cutter it's already set to four millimeters so now I should be able to calculate the path uh, so it does and it will cut and pocket all the way down here so that's my first operation uh, the second operation is going to be done with the, um, the first one and this one is going to be a cutout so I need to cut out a profile cut out outside and let's see if the feed rate changed one point five meters per minute and everything seems okay uh, I need to make the bridges and now I can generate the toolpath calculate path so as you can see I have two operations one of them is the pocketing operation and the other one is the cutting operation and they have been done because I use two different um, different operations and I was able to sep separate my uh, model to do that so thanks for watching and Please subscribe if you like these videos. I'll put up more stuff uh, about uh, GraphSCAD and the CNC. The next video, uh, I will cut this model with the CNC machine onto wood. Thank you. There are more videos to come, so please subscribe.